Okay, it's beard o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Nog Ale and it's a bottle of the Imperial Brown Ale coming in at 7.5% ABV. Now, I bought this from an online beer store and it's come all kind of marked and scratched as if a bottle's kind of broken next to it or in the same box. But there we go. We can read what it is, we can get the style. Love Nognero beers. The last beer I had was in the City Arms in Cardiff. There's the ball cap. And it was a, it was a kind of a, whoa. Wow. That cap didn't seem quite on enough. There's all kind of gunge yeast in the bottle cap there that didn't seem too good and look at the dirty look at that dirty neck Ooh, okay um, it's probably not Nognio's fault that this has happened I will see how we are with this to see if it's okay to review. Do you know, it looks okay, it looks okay. Let's not be too disheartened by that. Let's just crack on with the review. Let's forget it ever happened. It's a black beer, a little bit of light bleeding through the bottom of the glass. It's a one finger, slightly off white head, lovely carbonation, which suggests that it may have not been kind of de-sealed and it smells good as well it smells good positive stuff peanut brown ale loads of chocolate coffee caramel but it's definitely a brown ale as well it's, it's very malty biscuity malty and it's lovely and hoppy. I'm going to take a first initial small sip of this. Yeah, and tell you it's absolutely fine. Perhaps it was the ABV, that 7.5% ABV kind of kept it. Um, what it looks like has happened is that this is very strange, I've not come across this. I just want to show you guys again because this may never happen again. It looks like the bottle might have been stored upside down for a little while. All the yeast is collected in the neck, which suggests, yeah, it was tipped upside down and this kind of fallen to the bottom and got stuck there. Okay. Carry on with the taste. Mmm. It's licorice, coffee, chocolate, caramel, chocolate bitterness, coffee bitterness, and then there's a hot bitterness that pulls through on the end. It's a very balanced beer. When I say bitter in terms of the malt, it's, it's more of a, a bitter coffee where they've used roasted malts. And then there's a a bitterness of the hop that comes through on the end. Mmm. Really nice beer though. Bit of a... A bit of a kind of a, a dark fruit. A, a... Almost like a grape. There's a vinous... A de yes, it's a definite vinous tone, touch, feel to this beer. Mmm. Really good. I'm going to wash the beer around now in the bottle and empty it. If it is a bottle condition, I'm going to get it all into the glass. So, just a quick recap then on Nogne O oh, Imperial Brown Ale. The look of the beer is absolutely fantastic. 
good looking beer nice slowly moving bubbles on the side there look at that it's a good sign of a good quality beer when you do that and it kind of slowly rises up we've not talked about the mouthfeel let's talk about the mouthfeel because them small bubbles coming up suggest that it's a thicker kind of creamier beer and this surely is it, it, it is surely is Yeah, lovely creamy mouthfeel. I will get used to working these 12 hour days. Um, my speech at the moment is sometimes all over the place. Um, yeah, lovely creamy mouthfeel. The beer sticks to the inside of the mouth, kind of gives off that lovely uh, fruity, hoppy, maltiness. It kind of all sticks in the inside of your mouth. It really hits your palate everywhere in the mouth. Uh, my final thoughts on a rating then. Yeah, cracking looking beer as we've just said. <coughs> lovely mouthfeel, lovely taste. I'm really pleased I bought this. I picked it up on Brewdog's website. So perhaps Brewdog kind of stores some of their beer upside down. I don't know. Um, but yeah, lovely mouthfeel, lovely hoppy taste, lovely hoppy aroma mixed in with that imperial strength, um, malty, kicking kind of roasted malt. It's, it's a lovely brew. I really suggest you going out and trying it. Um, let me know though if it's a batch problem or if it's the way it's been stored. Um, let me know if your, your bottle was a kind of just a little bit kind of bashed about. Um, thanks for watching me, The Real Ale Guide. Oh, I've got not rating it. A rating. A rating I'm going to give this. Um, it's tiredness. I promise you I'm not drunk. Um, I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10 beer for me, the Real Ale Guide. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, and cheers.